Estamos aqui com o professor Tadei Batelino, que é da Eslovênia, um dos convidados internacionais aqui do Congresso Brasileiro de Diabetes. E eu vou perguntar para ele quais são as impressões dele sobre o nosso Congresso e sobre a palestra que ele acabou de proferir agora pela manhã, hoje, uh, aqui no Congresso. Uh, nice to meet you and what's your impression about our Congress and then about your talk uh, in, in today? Hello to everybody. First, I would like to thank the organizers, especially Professor Pedrosa, for inviting me to this beautiful Congress. I am a fan of Brasilia and I'm really impressed with the scientific level of the meeting. And also the participation is, is very big for European terms, so I'm extremely impressed about the meeting. And in my talk, I focused on the technology in diabetes. So I started with the very convincing evidence about the success of pump therapy, insulin pump therapy, in reducing glycosylated hemoglobin in people with diabetes and with reducing hypoglycemia. Then I put some evidence published in the recent literature about continuous glucose monitoring, either alone or in connection with an insulin pump therapy. Also, continuous glucose monitoring is considerably improving the metabolic control, reducing hypoglycemia and increasing the well-being of people with diabetes. And finally, I touched the interesting project of a closed-loop insulin delivery, which means that according to the continuous measurement the system would automatically adjust insulin infusion and thus patient wouldn't have to think anymore each minute about diabetes but could relay on the system. This of course is just in very restricted clinical trials but it is a dream that we may at some point bring this to our patients. Uh, it's very interesting about the closed loop uh, works and uh, what do you think will be the future? Uh, how many years to, to, to put the closed loop on the market? This is of course a very difficult question. Uh, we believe in a stepwise approach, so our first approach will be an overnight closed loop. It is not a, a final solution, of course, but it is a step forward. So we actually hope to introduce a overnight closed-loop control so that people with diabetes will be able to simply start this after the dinner and sleep quietly and without any worries until the next morning. So this is the first step. Can I give a prediction in time? I'm not sure, but maybe in two years we will be closer to putting this uh, directly to the patient.